It's just Bruce, he don't bite. <laughs> Hello. Well, welcome back to my channel. And as the title says, we are talking about Repro. Ooh. Gets a lot of people pissed off when you start talking about repros. Um, I'm here to remind you and show you what the very first repro was with Star Wars toys. In my opinion, of course. All this stuff's my opinion. Um, I got a load of new load of toys that I bought off eBay. You know, some figures and stuff like that. And, you know, I like to fix them up. And some I resell, some I keep. Uh, lately, I've been doing a lot of reselling. Uh, you know, clean it up and send it out. I, I try not to use... I don't want to call them repro. I, I, I don't make repro parts. I make uh, parts that, uh, replacement parts, that they aren't the same as the original. Uh, but they work. And, you know, it's better than having a bunch of broken stuff on your shelf. Uh, case in point, back when I was 10 years old, I had this guy. And uh, if you know who that is, that is uh, original Luke Skywalker. Some people call it Farm Boy Luke. Uh, which is fine. I know there's another friend of mine on YouTube that hates when we call it Farm Boy Luke, but I'm not here to piss him off. Anyway, this particular one does not have a lightsaber. Uh, so, when we were kids, we would break a lightsaber on this guy, Ben Kenobi or Darth Vader, and didn't have a lightsaber. So, what are you going to do? Now, our 10-year-old minds, we would uh, get one of these toothpicks. And we just put it right in there. And there you go. The original repro part. We can even go so far as to paint it the right color. And even though uh, Luke's, Luke's uh, lightsaber was green, we are going to put some yellow paint on this one. I don't want to get it on the figure. I mean, I might be crazy, but I'm not, like, stupid. So we just take a paint, or in this case, I'm using a paint marker. And we would paint it yellow, like I'm doing right now. I'm staying away from the figure because I, <laughs> I really don't want to ruin the figure, but I just want to prove a point. But this is what we would do when we were kids. We would paint it, and now you see the original repro. The original repro part for our Star Wars toys was a toothpick when you broke the lightsaber. And of course, you know, kids don't care. We were playing with it. It's actually a little longer than the original lightsaber. Honestly, if you ask me, it's kind of more durable. It's kind of looked better. But that was the original Repro. I know we're doing a short video today. Now, there's a whole debate going on about repro. Like, some people are making the repros that are just so close to the original that uh, they're being sold as the original, taking advantage of, of buyers. Um, I'm against that, believe it or not. I am against that. If you check out my channel on, uh, or excuse me, my page on eBay, Jenner Custom Toys, you'll see I do a lot of replacement parts. But every single one of those replacement parts is a little bit different. It has my little signature on it. So if another collector would pick it up, they will know that it is not original. Because even I think it's wrong to rip people off. But I just want to turn back the hands of time a little bit and remind everybody they care about toys, not the profit. They care about the toys. This was the first repro. A simple toothpick as a lightsaber. That is the very first repro we used. Another thing I want to bring up is, uh, it. this isn't really repro, but uh, a lot of people on the groups I've seen just, just recently, mostly new collectors, have been buying uh, used figures and, uh, you know, add them to their collection, which is awesome. And this guy here, uh, the original R2-D2, and when they turn it up, they find a marble stuck up in there. Yes, that was my middle finger, but I didn't mean it. Uh, a marble stuck up in here. Now, I don't have a marble around here. I do know why we did that as kids. Um, we thought the marble, because it was round, was like looked like the Death Star. So in our little 10-year-old minds, we thought it would be a good idea to stick the Death Star plans up in there. And what we didn't know is that you can't get it out. Uh, well, you can get it out, but it was hard. 
It was hard. I, I've done it myself. I've gotten a marble stuck up in there. And uh, yeah, But like I said, in our ten, it, that, that should explain it. Uh, I, I've seen numerous posts in numerous groups about uh, why was there a marble stuck up our tooth. But it definitely was not a uh, plan of Kenner. It, it was uh, us kids playing. That's all it was. So, you know, original R2. I was always angry about this figure because it never had the third leg that came down. So I actually, I mean, I know the Droid Factory had a third leg on its R2-D2, but it never fit the regular ones. So in me, in my playing around, uh, developed this third leg to go right up into the classic R2-D2, the vintage R2-D2. And now he's got his third leg. You can find us on my... On, yeah, you can find. I gotta plug my play. I gotta plug my page. Uh, Jenner Custom Toys on eBay, but uh, now you can have an R2 with a third leg, and it sits nicely. And uh, this is a lot wider than my R2. My this is this R2 seen better days. Like I said, I just got a, a big box full of uh, beater figures. I guess you'd call. This one. Hey, it's all original though. At least it's not like a bullshit sticker. It's a real sticker. But yeah. Put this guy up in there, and then you got a third leg for your R2D2. And the best thing about it is it comes right out, so it's not hurting the figure any. But that's why the marble is stuck up R2D2's butt. I just want to interject one more thing because we're talking about repros and customs and stuff like that. Um, this card here is a trading card. If you know it, you know it. It's number 207, Star Wars trading cards. Uh, it was C3PO with the. Um, they call it a C-3PO error card. They call it a golden rod. A bunch of things. If you know, you know. And I'm assuming if you're still listening and watching, you're a Star Wars fan. Um, a few years ago, I came up with a dumb idea. It, no, really not a dumb idea, but I come up with the idea. Because I like to make funny stuff. To make this uh, this figure right here, which is uh, C-3PO with the uh, extra appendage, if, if, if uh, you will. And, uh, yeah, I do a lot of things to be funny. I mean, I made Ben Kenobi into Colonel Sanders, too. Um, but anyway, this this is still in my store. And uh, so the week before Christmas, or around Christmas sometime, somebody brought up the conversation about the card uh, on one of the one of the Facebook groups. And uh, then somebody commented that they had the, uh, the, uh, the figure that goes with it. And they, they plugged this guy. And... Uh, I appreciate it because, um, you know, this is, I, I retired in October, so this is all I do. And after they shared that on Facebook, I started getting order after I, well, it started with me just getting a whole bunch of orders for this one figure, like more than normal. And I'm like, something's going on. So I, tra I traced it down and I found it. It was on a Facebook group. And I, I want to thank that person. Uh, I, I, have talked to him. I don't know if he's okay with me mentioning his name in a YouTube video or not. But uh, because of him, uh, after Christmas, the week after Christmas, just this past week, I got orders for a hundred of them. And I make these I make these to order. So I spent the past week basically putting dicks on robots, which is kind of funny. I actually said to my wife, something I never thought in my world, in my life, that I would ever have to say, I said, honey. I'm out of dicks. I ran out of dicks. That, that's one of those things you never think you're ever going to have to say in life. Just It's kind of like when George Carlin said, uh, uh, words you're never going to hear, sentences no one's ever going to ask you, uh, like, please hand me that piano, or please saw my legs off. Never thought I'd ever say, oh, honey, I ran out of dicks. But anyway, I am very appreciative of the person that did mention me, because I did get them done. I got them done in three days. And everybody got their uh, figure, and you, I, I've got a. I'm, they're still in my store, you know, Jenner Custom Toys. But um, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, you want something humorous. I got a few of those things too. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about this video. Um, I was just thinking about it, and like I said, I'm cleaning these toys now, and I found this one doesn't have a, a lightsaber. I'm like, hey, let's go old school. And I'm going to leave it like this. And if I do resell it, it's going to get the toothpick in it. And I'm going to post in the ad that there is no lightsaber, but that's my own half-assed version of a lightsaber. But we did this when we were kids. Some people would be really particular about it. They might want to cut it to the right length, which, because this goes down further than the foot, I think I will cut that. I don't have my clippers here. 
But um, yeah, it just got me thinking. Just a quick thought, quick video. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I try to be nice. I mean, I know it's a touchy subject. But yeah, this was the original repro right there. Right there. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for taking time to watch this video. Like I said, real quick and dirty. Uh, bye. Star Wars, da da da, Star Wars, da da da, Star Wars, da da da, Wars, dun 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 dun.